Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching Now You Know. In depth. Hmm. All right, so we're going to be covering the new superchargers. The I guess we'll call these the new urban superchargers? Yeah, or the mini superchargers. Yeah, so these are installed in Boston and in Chicago, and they're mm -hmm. going to be, I guess, rolled out for many other cities. The idea being that when you live in a city, um, it's not that easy to install the infrastructure for charging at your house as it is maybe in the suburbs, right? So Right, so people who live in apartment buildings mm -hmm. makes sense that they would need somewhere else to charge. And right. up till now it was pretty difficult to find any place like Because they're outside the city usually. They were, you know, near interstates and stuff. Right, superchargers or the level two charging infrastructure is just, it's the wild, wild west out there. Right. In terms of some places will absolutely overcharge you. Other places it'll be like free, but like, always or, or pretty you'll, slow or you'll get there and there'll be cars parked there right so yeah so the idea here is that there's eight in boston now there's 10 in chicago so these new urban superchargers don't give out as much power all so they give out 72 kilowatts instead of 135 kilowatts and that what that basically means is you're going to take a little longer to charge we went and charged at one in boston yesterday mm -hmm. um and basically while we were having lunch we charged up so in an hour you've basically got your power right and I think that this is smart. You put them in a in an area where you're going to go and shop for groceries or something probably once or twice a week, and that takes care of your charging. And what's cool is the card next to you won't affect your charge. So at a typical supercharger, if there's if you you know if it's kind of full and you pull in next to a, a person charging, you're going to get less power because that supercharger has a limit. Right. Whereas these, they are dedicated, so you're going to get 72 no matter who's parked next to you. Right. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're supercharging is that um, there are fees in place if you are done supercharging and over half of the superchargers are in use. So if you're at an eight stall and there's five cars there and you're all done supercharging but you're having lunch, they're going to start charging you by the minute for the supercharging there. Right. And it's a good thing, I think, because it happened to us yesterday. Once we were done, we got a notification on the phone that said, hey, if you got five minutes to leave or else you're gonna start getting charged. Right, and there was a notification that said, your supercharging is almost done. Um, right. And this was about 10 minutes before. So then, right. then you have a five minute grace period to go move your car. So you have about 15 minutes notification, um, which is, I mean, you shouldn't walk too far away from your car. Right. Um, yeah, because you're, I mean, that's where you're located mm -hmm. and you know this is going to happen. And what's good about that is if I hadn't got that notification, I might have left my car there longer and that would have taken up a valuable space for someone else who needed it. Right. But because I was being charged, I was like, you know what, let me go move it, move the car. And all day when we checked in on the charger, they were always free. There was plenty yep. of, of slots and that's because of that charge. So I think right. it works really well. Yeah. As we noticed in the, in the parking garage, there were a lot of Teslas that were parked really close by, which means that they went and charged and then moved out of our way. And if they were all still sitting at the superchargers, we wouldn't have been able to charge exactly. and we would have been in trouble. So a lot of people talk about, okay, well, when the Model 3 comes, there's not gonna be enough superchargers. I think they've solved that problem right. with this fee structure because it means that you'll, you'll charge and leave. Right, because I mean, keep in mind, a majority of the superchargers are out in the boonies. They're from point A to point B, long distance travel. This is going to be your everyday charging solution and they're just going to be rolling them out like crazy all over the place so it'll be way more convenient than having to go to a single location that's far outside of a city. So I mean get this if you live in the city and you were thinking of a Tesla but you're like I can't install my own wall charger my uh, my landlord won't let it or you know I just can't because of the situation of my house you can do this now because they're going to roll these out to all over America all throughout the cities even throughout Europe and, mm -hmm. and Asia so you could live in an apartment charge at a supercharger say on a Tuesday and you probably won't need to charge again until Friday or next Monday so right. you can really get by doing it this way right it's a and great solution you, and if you live outside of the city it's a lot more likely that you're going to be you know having your own place and able to charge your car there um, and so it just really takes care of that urban market which was so difficult to uh, to keep charged before. That argument about, okay, Model 3's coming, there's not gonna be enough chargers, check this out. Yes. 10,000 superchargers by the end of 2017. So wow. Tesla just released this new map. It's a little tricky when you first look at it because I'm programmed to think that a gray dot means a destination charger. Yes. But in this case, gray dots are meaning um, new, new oncoming, yeah, upcoming superchargers. So check this out. We went to just a few spots to see what's coming. Mm -hmm. So right now there are 900 superchargers with 6,000 supercharging stalls mm -hmm. installed. 
that's incredible. But get this, by 2018, they want to have 18,000 superchargers in the network. Wow, so these are 18,000 supercharging stalls. Right. Wow. Check out this map. So like places like, let's look at San Francisco. So you see the red superchargers in San Francisco That's as what's they are there now. now, right? But let's click on these gray dots to make them a little black, okay? Mm -hmm. Because then you can start to see how many more they are gonna add by 2018. It's amazing. Some of these are coming really soon in the next few months. Some mm -hmm. are going to come by the end of 2018. If we go to LA, mm -hmm. let's look at Boston. Wow. I mean, there was none there before this weekend, and now, now there's one there's right, one in, the heart right of the city. in the city, and there's more coming all over the city yep. Cambridge, Somerville. Let's go to New York. Yep. What a difference there. Yeah. How about just rural America? Yeah, just in other parts of the country that, wow. Uh, now, let's go to a new state that doesn't have any. Hawaii. Look at this. There's three coming to Hawaii. Right. Let's look at Spain. Spain's insane. Yeah. I mean, it's going from just the eastern part of the country to now you can get all over Spain. Right. It used to have none. I mean, it used to have absolutely no superchargers, and then they put in one, and then they put in another, and now it's just going to explode across the country. How about Eastern Europe? Yeah. There, there was none in Eastern Europe, practically. Now you can. it looks like you'll be able to traverse Eastern Europe easily. I know. Korea. Japan, Australia, and look at this, New Zealand. Yeah. Just incredible. Yeah. I also want to point out China.电动车是中国未来的一个发展方向。特斯拉结合了高科技、环保，特别时尚。特斯拉既有它安静的一面，也有它狂野的一面。使用非常的方便，后续的费用非常低。我们使用特斯拉，因为特斯拉完全可以满
Do you now have st- still have a flip phone? I highly doubt it. Right. Well, and, and here's the other thing. I think that when you are used to having such a short range and limited charging capabilities, your only thoughts are, I can go to work and I can go home right. and I can go to the grocery store, which is really close to my house, or maybe it has a charger or something. But I need another car if I want to go on, on longer drives. Right. And, I, and once you have the supercharger network, you're just going to be like, where do I want to go? Exactly. Let me look at a map. Oh, this looks like an interesting piece of topography. Let me just go zip over there because honestly, you're in an electric car. It feels just great to go driving. Um, and when the supercharger network is there, you don't worry about, oh, okay, let me open up PlugShare. Let me see, oh, is there a charger nearby? Okay, I'd have to wait there for three hours while I charged. You know, there's none of that. No. It's just... Oh, I'll just go there and then, oh, yeah, of course there's a supercharger just, you know, 10 miles away. Can we talk about how fast Tesla has implemented this? VW, as we know, has gotten $10 billion to roll out a charger network throughout the country. And their plan is to do this over the next 10 years. Right. Okay. They have plenty of money, obviously, to do it, Mm -hmm. but that's their plan. Tesla started putting in superchargers back in 2012 and now already... The whole world is blanketed with superchargers. Right. You can get, I mean, we, we're just showing you, you can drive almost any place you can think of. And so they're obviously getting better and better at installing superchargers. Mm-hmm. They know what they're doing now. They can do it so fast. As you know from watching Tesla Time News every week, they're just exploding all over the place. Mm-hmm. It's just so impressive. And they're so conveniently placed. Right. It's just, it's mind blowing. Yeah. It's happening so fast. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this in-depth on superchargers. If you have questions about superchargers, please leave them in the links below and let us know on our Facebook. You can Facebook message us. We would love to answer your questions. Um, And thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. That's important. Mm -hmm. It's important because it shares it with other people. We would love to grow this channel. The more we grow, the more we can bring to you. So please subscribe. Please like. Please share. That's super important. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know.